Good evening, how are we all? How are we good? How's everybody? Are you keeping yourself safe, keeping yourself warm? What's going on? Let's see who we got in the house tonight. Hi, how you doing, Annie? It's good to see you. Show what's up? Hey, Hayden, how's it going? Hey, Hayden, so uh, Trevor passed away on Sunday, Saturday. I just thought I'd let you know, man. Mm. Tired Trucker Dan, how's it going? Kitty Rose, how's it going? Destiny Ray, what's up? So, I just found out from his mom today. Hey, baby doll, how's it going? I just found out from his mum that he passed away on Sunday, so... Yeah, about well, that. Gen X nerd girl, how are you? It's a bit of a crazy night, to be honest with you. Hey, Evelyn. How you doing? You doing all right? Annie, where are you from? Mm, Lisa Perkley, what's up? Shaman, what's up? Evelyn, are you there? I know, I'm... Hmm. I am lost for words right now. More than anything, I don't even know what to say. Other than, I guess, it fucking sucks, really. So that's a lot of fun, right? I mean, yeah, so that definitely happened today. Just uh, in shock. Evelyn, are you there? Mm. Pato, what's up? Hey, thanks. Thanks, Hayden. I appreciate that. Mm. Bob Williams, what's up? Tiki, Tiki, what's up? Using 51, what's up? I I don't even know what to say right now. I just... Uh, John Martino, Rob Solid, what's up? Um, I don't know if you knew him. <coughs> Struggling mom. Oh, you've only been on it. Sorry, hang on a second. <coughs> yep, what's up? Um, one of our friends who's a friend from TikTok and from um, you might have seen videos with him. Uh, he had a couple of he lost a couple of fingers uh, in a uh, accident, and um, he passed away on Saturday. So I'm just uh, in a lot of shock about um, it. To be honest with you. His mum just texted me a couple of hours ago, said that he passed away. So it's kind of a great loss to all of us, really. I don't even know what to say. Hey, Blue Web, what's up? At Vegas, what's up? Scrap pack, rat pack. I know, that's not even words for it. I spoke to his mum. Um, if you, you, might have, you, you, must, you might have seen a live with him already. Doc Edwards, how you doing? Um, you might have seen a live that I did with him a couple, a little few weeks ago. Um, all right, buddy. Um, Michelle, how's it going? Um, Mark, what's up? Spanky, fifty, what's up? So I just, uh, yeah, just um, Nicole, how are you? It's pretty in shock right now. Just kind of Marty, what's up? Um, just I don't know. I don't even know what to say. I'm just... He was such an inspiration to all of us. He was really happy dude. And um, he really um, brought a lot to the table as far as life goes. Um, you know, I mean, if you'd seen the videos with us, he, uh, he was such a good dude. Hello, Susan, what's up? Candy, Evan, what's up? Uh, so yeah, so I'm going to put some videos up, we're going to, I'm in Boise right now, I was going to go up to Seattle Prince, what's up, user 94, what's up, Elena, what's up, 
Um, but he his funeral's on Saturday, so um, if you know Flower Girl, what's up? Um, El Dorado, Arlene, hello Arlene, how are you doing? Say hi, Arlene. So I know that you stopped in. Rita, what's up? JD, what's up? How you doing, JD? You doing all right? Leek, say what's up? Kel, Kelville, what's up? So, so Arlene. Barbara, what's up? Trevor passed away on Saturday. Mm. Green Slaver, what's up? How you doing? Melly knew what's up. Yeah, he did, yeah. He got out of hospital on Wednesday and he uh yeah yeah, such a high spirit person is exactly what it is. You've been in lives with him before. Boots, what's up? He got out of hospital on last Wednesday and um And uh, he was doing really good. And then uh, Saturday morning, he passed away. So, oh, I feel a bit woozy, to be honest with you. Kind of a little bit in shock. I know. I, 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 I don't know what. They, they still don't know. They won't know for uh, like 12 weeks what, his, uh, what made him pass away. But, I mean, the guy had been through so much. Angel, what's up? Um, and he had a lot of medical issues anyway as well, so Johnny Too Bad, Angel Kinder, what's up? Mimi, what's up? Ba Vanessa, what's up? So anyway, I just thought I'd let you know. It is so sad, and then I just... See Marley, what's up? Julia Barr, what's up? Lisa Rockefeller, one hot teddy bear. Marco Prezel. Really disappointed to be honest with you. Don't even know what to say. Just um I spoke with his mum as well and she was just telling me that he was in really good spirits and Hank Martigas, am I shitting you? Shut up, Hank Martigas. Just, uh, you know why? Uh, losing people is hard, but this one's particularly hard because um, I don't know, just good friends. His mum said that the reason that him that we all helped him in the hospital going to see him. You know, she said that the, the 60 days that he was there or the 16 days that he was there was, um, H&L Hall was, uh, um, she said, uh, that, uh, we really helped him get through the hospital side of things. So, um, I don't know. I just posted a video up of him give, sending me the last video that he sent me of him. Um, giving me the birds, and um, you know, I just his mom seems super nice. The funeral, I'll leave the funerals on um, Saturday. So if you're about or you want to go, I'll give you the details, but I'll, I'll post them on Facebook and um, I'll post them as well on um. Yeah, it's kind of a bit hard today, to be honest with you, Ryan. You know, it's hard when you lose a friend, you know. It's hard when you lose somebody that you love and you care about. You know, 
I I messaged Alicia and I told her, but she, do you do do? Mm. Thank you, Hayden. Oh, but um, the amazing thing is, she didn't know who I was, but she kind of. Jesus, thank you so much, Hayden, for that. I can't even tell you right now what I need to. She said that he, while he was in the hospital, whenever she went to see him, all he could talk about was me. Which, I mean, go figure, right? Go figure that one out. I mean, she said that the fake fingers that I gave him um, really just they were a hit with the doctors and everybody. So, uh, Jesus, Hayden, you are just killing me right now, man. Are you doing that? Cause you want to see me cry because I'm having a really hard time. with This one. Thanks Ryan. I appreciate that, man. Uh, are we friends? Have we met before? I'm, I'm following you now, Ryan. I, and I appreciate, I appreciate the encouragement, man. A uh, friend of ours passed away on Saturday, so I just, um, you know, I'm following you anyway, so you can follow me back if you want. I'm on a, I'm on a long neck, how's it going? Um, so yeah, he just passed away um, on Saturday, Cali Beach, and um, well, the, I mean, Ryan, if you go watch my videos, you'll see this exactly what I'm doing, and it's. Um, I met him through TikTok, shared a Discord, what's up? Uh, I met him through TikTok, and um, uh, I was one encouraging him and just doing, I don't know, just like, fucking, I don't fucking know anymore. I don't know. So maybe I'll ask his mum if she'll give me the cap back. Uh, just uh, go check out my videos, man. I'm traveling all 50 states at the moment. TikTok in all 50 states and I am doing it with part of the reason to show people that the world is not such a shit place and that people are decent human beings and I am um, trying to bring back the idea that the American dream is still alive that's part of what I'm doing I'm 13 states in I was about to go up to Seattle um, hey Tracy um, tomorrow I was going to go up there uh, thanks man Um, so that's what I'm doing. Um, and travel was one of the people along the way that, um, I mean, I drove all the way from, all, all the way back just to see him, uh, last week or the week before that and hung out with him in hospital. I made a video and put it up there as well. Good guy was such a good spirit. I ain't got a patch on him. You know, I do my best to try and make the world a better place, but that guy, I mean, like after everything that he'd been through. Uh, yeah, well, she, uh, go check out my videos, man. Share them. Yeah, you, you know, fuck. I'm sorry. You have to cut. I'm still in shock right now about the whole situation. It's just um, insane. So anyway, I'll be posting up on. Um, if you're in Utah, I'm posting up on. Uh, I'll be posting up uh, the information of the funeral details on his. Um, <clears throat> on his funeral, his Saturday, um, I'm going to travel back from, uh, I'm probably going to stay in Boise and uh, also work in uh, Oregon for a few days and then I'm going to come back for the funeral and then, uh, you know, whatever plans I had have just kind of temporarily been put on hold. Thank you, Hayden, for the likes and thank you so much for the roses. You are a badass man and I can't even tell you how much I breathe, uh, you know. Um, yeah, I will. She's going to text it to me. Um, and I told her that I was going to put it up on there. But in the meantime, go and check out the video of him uh, giving me his final bird. So, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I just mm, such a good dude, such a fucking good dude. Just so genuine and cool, and like it's just um. I'm out here trying to inspire the world 
to be a better place. And I'm out here trying to show people that the world is not a messed up place. And then I run over some guy like Trevor and he uh, inspired me. I mean, just like, I mean, the guy lost his uh, fingers in a propane explosion and he was still joking. And uh, we were having some great laughs about him losing his fingers, which isn't something that people normally do, right? You don't normally make that. It's okay, Mama Bear. It's, it is what it is. But I just, um, it's uh, just, uh, what do you say? What do you say in a situation like this? Right. Here's a funny thing as well, Ryan. Um, I did a live from the hospital. He was trying to be a smart ass and he was trying to tell me that um, we had a bet and the one who could count their fingers the fastest would win. And um, so we went into hospital. I got him to count his fingers. He only had one missing at the time. And he goes, he goes, I guess I won then or something like that. And I'm like, no, you didn't. I pulled out one of these fingers and I gave it to him. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, he, um, <laughs> what are you going to do? It's funny. But he's just, he's just such a good dude. And, um, so what he did afterwards, and this is just before Halloween as well. So what he did afterwards, he kept leaving the fingers lying around and making jokes out of it and stuff like that. So yeah, brought a bit of happiness and fun to his life. AC Sanders was up. So I don't know. Uh, just, um, yeah, so about that, right? Anyway, what are you going to do? Uh, I wish I'd got a video of him doing that. That would have been freaking hilarious. But if you go watch the video, it's got a video of him going, because he lost this finger, and he said to me, you're, what, you're the last person on the planet to get this uh, my final bird before he lost this finger. So I posted up the video before and after like of him going, you know, that, that's that. And I was like, Trevor, you are bellend, but I I can love you anyway. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, <laughs> thank you for the Hannah. I mean, you are a better, so I appreciate you so much. Just, uh, yeah. What are you going to do, right? Eh? Just, um, uh, I ain't got any words right now. I don't have, I'm, I'll am i tell you what, I'm not lost for words very often. Any of you guys that have been following me for a while know that I'm not lost, lost for words very often, but right now I'm just gonna say, going like, that little bastard. Ah, oh, no, I'm not gonna stop, man. I'm only 13 states in. I've got another 37 to go. So I won't, I won't be stopping anytime soon. Uh, I'm just going to have to, I'm just going to put, um, oh, thanks buddy. I'm just going to put, um, yeah, on a brief hold for a second, I'll stay in Boise or go to, U go to, um, Oregon for a couple of days and then, um, I'll head back to Salt Lake cause that's where he is. And, um, we'll go to his funeral. I'm not going to TikTok it. Um, I mean, I might TikTok a bit of it. And put it up on on TikTok so that you know people that can't be there, or I might do a live. So yeah, just fuck. What are you gonna do? I don't know. You just you do what you can. I mean, and the thing is, is like I I did my job, which was help him out and make him feel good when he was struggling. Hey hey uh, Megan, thank you for the follow, Tammy. That's very nice of you. Um, so I I went in there and I put a smile on his face a few times. Shit, the last connection. There we go. Looks like I'm back. So not a hundred percent sure on the whole thing to be honest with you. Not really sure how to wrap my head around it. The connection's just getting lost in it. It's a good connection, man. But thank you, Ryan. I appreciate the, the support and the follow as well. It really means a lot to me that you uh, popped by to say hello. And um, I'll be down in Florida next year, man. 
I'll be in, I'm down in Florida next year. Um, so basically, I'm going fi- to finish out the West Coast by the end of the year, and then I'll be heading down to New Orleans and then to Florida uh, late late January. So yeah, and um, we can hang out, man. Yeah. You're in Tallahassee, all right? But just keep an eye out, man. I'll, I post up videos whenever I enter a state, you know. It's, um, so it's not like you know, if you've got if you're following me, I should start fo- showing up on your um for you page. So that would be awesome. So hello, send Sandy friends. How's it going? Um, I'm not sure right now. Maybe we'll see. Yeah, yeah. I'll be I'll be going to um, I don't know three or four parts of Florida to be honest with you. Probably Miami. Um, I don't know. I haven't. It's too far away to even think about what I'm gonna where I'm gonna go to in Florida. But um, I'll be going to a few different places while I'm in Florida. So the thing is, is with this um, Ryan is I'm. Uh, so I'm TikTok in all 50 states. I'm doing different fun stuff and interesting stuff, meeting people, trying to inspire people and stuff like that. And um, uh, um, yeah, I, I think I've already said that. I think I'm rambling right now. Judy Bolin, how's it going? Mm. to say right now all I can say is God rest his soul you know and then I'm just trying to invite some people in Holly was an earlier party there was something wrong with my TikTok earlier on today. I couldn't um, get it working. So. That's exactly my manifesto, Ryan. That's exactly what I'm doing. Is I'm trying to change the world right now. I'm trying to change people's views, and I'm trying to show people that it doesn't matter where you come from in the country or the world. Um, we're all very similar, and that for every one reason that you, every ten reasons you can find to dislike somebody. Find one good reason to like them and latch onto that. You know, and we do need that. You're right, man. We do need that. The world needs more of this. That's why I'm on TikTok because I'm tired of seeing people shaking their booties and shaking their skin and putting just wanky content on. You know, um, you know. Let's 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 make the world a better place rather than the worst place. Let's stop complaining about stuff and start trying to. Um, look at the world through different eyes and if I can help people do that then great you know so yeah it's just I'm just really disappointed right now so disappointed hey Kaz Kaz how you doing Kaz sorry all right so hey Kaz do you remember Trevor CA girl in Tennessee, how are you doing, my darling? I haven't seen you in a hot minute. Where have you been hiding? Kaz, do you remember Trevor here? Yeah. Uh, he passed away on Saturday. Yeah, right. So, yeah, he passed away on Saturday. Um, the funeral's this Saturday coming. Spoke to his mum. She's doing good. Um, she's doing good. High spirits. You can. I. It was funny talking to her because it reminded me of um him a lot. So yeah, he passed. I. I don't even know what to say to be honest with you. It's kind of in shock right now, really, man. Nothing. Um.
just a little bit of a shot. Hello, Daddy Avocado, how are you doing? Yeah, so that's that. Hayden's my top few. Hayden, you are on fire tonight. Hey, York girl, how are you doing? Katrina, what's up? So, yeah. My hotel room's cold, I need to go and turn the heat up. You guys gonna be alright for a second while I'm gonna turn the heat up? I'll be right back. Just hang tight for a second. Oh, disappointment, eh? Monday disappointment, but hey, what is it we're gonna do, eh? It is what it is, right? It is what it is. You doing good tonight, anyway, Kaz? Arlene, you doing alright? You know, I, it's funny you say that, Arlene, because you, you're right, everybody. <coughs> He's 34, well, he's 33 right now. He'll be 34 in, um, on uh, February 8th next year. So, Valerie, hi, how are you doing? Um, so, they're too young to pass. I don't, I'm trying to stay away from all those cliches of what we normally say when people pass away, like, oh, gone too soon and all that lot. So, or, uh, as far as I'm concerned, all, I'm, all, I, all, I ma- all that matters to me is that he... Um, had a great life and he was such an inspiration on all of us. Do you wonder, Dennis Woods, what up? Um, so, yeah, just. Anyway, I put a video up in honor of him. And um, I'll put up details of, the vid- of, of uh, his funeral, when his funeral is. And um, maybe I'll ask his mom if uh, I can TikTok it. Which would be really awesome if we did that. I'm just in shock. Um, but fuck, I don't know. I don't know what to tell you right now. Hey, you're banging up those likes tonight, man. Thank you. Let's see if we can get energy in here or anybody else. Let's see if we go here. No, just. Give me a second, I'm just send this one bites out. Mm. He was thirty four years old. Now, we can talk about religion if you want to. I mean, this is an appropriate time. Hayden, you're just being too kind to me tonight. I don't. On uh, YouTube. So, we'll have it there. You know? He was in such good spirits as well.
when I see something weird. Do you see that? He did, he had a lot of health issues. He had a lot of health issues. So. Um, and that, but that was the beautiful thing about him. He did have a lot of health issues, but he still managed to keep a positive heart and he managed to uh, keep on keeping on even when it was crazy and stuff so yeah sorry I don't really have much to say right now but it's nice that you guys are here It's a possibility. Yeah. Right, exactly. And he had every reason to be down as well, didn't he? He had every reason to be pissed off and mad at the world for some of the stuff that's happened to him, and he didn't. You could see that, Hayden. Could you see that moving? This four five four a that's the weirdest thing ever. I don't think you're being goofy at all, Hayden. And I start thinking the same thing. Do any of you guys have Paige on your, can any of you guys invite Paige into here? Let's see. Let's see. Trevor. Are you there? Is that you, Trev? Dude, that's weird. Trev, I love you, man. That's fucking weird. That is, you know, I'm sensitive to that kind of stuff as well. Let's try it again. You want to try it again? See. Trevor. Of course that would be him messing with me, wouldn't it? Well, you just saw that live here right now. Like, okay, so a, a friend of mine just passed away and my lampshade started moving and every time I say his name, I can't even, I can't even say him. 
Hang on, let me see if I can flip it around. Give me a second. All right, give me a second. That's the craziest thing. Trevor. What the fuck? Um, that's kind of crazy, you know. So Miriam Trevor passed away. I don't know if you saw the video. Uh, so we'll just sit here and watch the lamp then, shall we? Is that what you want me to do? You want to sit and watch the lamp? Yeah. Okay then. So right now, my friend who passed away uh, is talking to me through a lampshade. This is a bit um, unusual, isn't it, Trev? Yeah. So, about that, hello, Melissa, how you doing? So right now we're watching a lampshade of my friend who just, I found out, passed away, and he's making it very clear. His presence is here with me in the room. Uh, Jesus Christ, this um, Paige, what are you making of this? Trevor. Are you there? I think that's a farm. Yes, he's here with me right now. Oh, that prankster. You're such a prankster, Trevor. Aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> I don't even know. <laughs> Trevor? Trevor. Yeah, it's still moving now. I think he's gone. Um, no, he hasn't gone. Trevor, can you count on your fingers faster than me? I think that's uh, definitive. Yes, he can. You can't, Trev. I'm, now I'm just sitting here arguing with a lampshade. Anybody who doesn't know me or know what's going on is just sat looking at this lampshade right now going, what the hell is going on right now? Uh, so, yeah, that's fun, isn't it? So, yeah. Trevor, you're a bellend. Yeah, I think he is. Wow. I... Uh... Just, uh, wow, I've actually got tears in my eyes right now. Oh, I'm going to miss you, pal. Mm. Little bit freaked out right now. You know, it'll be even more freaky is if I wake up and I find one of his um, fingers in my bed. That would be freaky. So, thanks for the follow. Rise up. Yeah. Thank you. Appreciate that. No, I, well, here's the thing, Hayden. I've got it will, this will actually be a live on here right now. So, I'll be able to pull it off there. So, um, yeah, that's uh, interesting. I guess he's uh, not done yet. I feel like I need to steal this lampshade. <laughs> I, guys, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that really. Um, <laughs> I, guys, I don't know. Um, yeah, so that's uh, that really. Um,
And look, there's no, there's definitely nothing to do with me right now. Um, there's no air moving around here, but that's a, a bit crazy for me. Wow. So anyway, if you're in Salt Lake City area tomorrow, um, and, and so if you're in Salt Lake on um, Saturday and you're interested, um, I'm going to be posting details of the funeral details. I'll get Paige to post them on her page as well. I'll send the video to her. So um, if you guys want to come down, it would be amazing for us to go down and support their family and just be there for them and just love on them and give them a hug and stuff like that. Yeah, you agree with that, do you? He, um, I think he agrees with me. It's a shame I can't zoom out a little bit, isn't it? No. Okay. So. As you can see, I am not actually touching that. That's got nothing at all to do with me right now. God, thank you guys for coming and hanging out with me. I, I really need it right now. I think we all need it. Anybody that knew Trevor um, knew that he was an amazing guy. He had an amazing heart and was such an inspiration to all of us about overcoming um, tragedies. Uh, the guy had so many health issues as it was. Um, and then he lost his fingers and he still managed to keep his spirits through all of that. So. It was, it's kind of, I don't even know what to tell you right now. We've got 58 people in the room. Thank you all of you guys who are, it's, hey, Queen Becky, how you doing? Thank you for all you guys that joined, uh, you know, and hanging out with me and um, giving me some comfort and us some comfort, um, all of us, because it's not just me that lost him. There was a lot of us that lost him. Yeah. Angel, what's up? Right. Yeah, he's making it very clear he's here, so. I don't, I'm not really sure what to say to that. I just kind of think, um, well, okay then. Um, just, you know. It has been a rough night, Pedro, right? It just. It has been an absolutely rough night. Hey, J J M E, how you doing? Tasmany, Stevie Wonder, what's up? Teresa White, what's up? Missy, Sarah Denton, what's up? Lynn, what's up? Paige, how you doing? Brian, how you doing? Lady Di, what's up? Um, Keeney, what's up? Etu Humis, what's up? I'm not sure how to say some of these. A friend to the end. That sounds fantastic. Uh, Marty, what's up? Bernard, what's up? Um, the real, the realm, what's up? Donna, hi, how you doing? Melissa, how you doing? Freddie, what's up? Risp Toad, what's up? Super Cud. Levy, Tarina, hi, how you doing? Lee Jones, here for the view. How are you doing? Susan. Uh, Traitor Joe, what's up? Sky of the Anne, what's up? Walmart, what's up? Walmart Pepsi, Fred, Fred Babble, what's up? If you guys are typing, I promise I will jump in back in a second. Uh, Little Blair, how you doing? Sandy Poole, man, there's a lot of you in here. Rise, rise up, but Bay, that's a fucking great name there. Struggling Mom, how you doing? Naughty. Uh, this, like, okay, so uh, if I miss any com comments, um, Hayden, I can already tell you that, um, that uh, the, uh, the Matt Dave community did have a massive impact on them, all of us did, and um, the, the beautiful thing was, um, that his mum, when I spoke to her on the phone, who I've never met before, by the way and was not the way that um, I was expecting to meet his mum. But she said that um, we all, we all helped him through the hard times while he was in the hospital. 
and she said that he never stopped talking about me and um, going to the hospital. And um, she said that the fingers I took him were a massive hit as well. So, yeah, I mean, I, what are you going to say? Um, I'm just privileged that I had the opportunity to meet him, to know him, that we all got to meet him and know him. And Goofy Cat Studios, how you doing? So, um, yeah, I mean, I'll be fucked if I know. I I just do my thing, and I just hope that along the way that I'm going to make an impact, and apparently he's somebody that I really did make an impact on. Um, we all did. To all of you guys that sent him cards while he was in the hospital, um, he really, really appreciated that. And, you know, it wasn't just me, it was all of us. You know, it was all of us when I remember, if you remember shortly after he lost his fingers, um, Sly Pepper, how's it going? If you remember shortly after he lost his fingers, um, he was in here making jokes. I think Hayden, he was actually making jokes with you, wasn't he, about um, Hank um, from the King of the Hill. So, just, I mean, that's the kind of guy he was, right? That's the kind of guy he was. And, uh, you know, we were very, very privileged to have him here. And it wasn't just me. It wasn't just me that made a difference in his life. It's all, hello, Lee Jones, how you doing? It wasn't just me that made a difference in his life. The wheel chaired, how's it going? And we all made a difference in his life. But you know what? He made a difference in our life too. If you remember, there was a few of you that said that he was such an inspiration the way when we went and saw him in hospital um, and we TikTok it, he... Um, um, the wheelchair dad, how you doing? Um, we made his day. And it was all of us that showed up. You know, there was 10 of us in that chat that day. So, you know, now I have to continue my journey in honor of him. So it's even more reason why He was in that story that time as well. Yes, you're right. <laughs> yeah, he was in the story as well. So, yeah. I mean, so we all made a difference in his life. And this, I think this is something that um, we need to remember. I think this is something that I need to remember. And I think this is something that will keep me going as far as um, keeping on with the journey that I'm doing right now is to remember that you never know the impact you're going to have on somebody. You know, I came back to Utah with the intention of going to see him and me and Paige went and saw him. There was a video of us going to see him. I know that I didn't make a whole video and I didn't do a live of it because, you know, I didn't want him to be feel overwhelmed with it. But, um, um, yeah, I mean, he made, we made a different... <gasps> There's a difference in each other's lives. The lampshade's still going. It's still going right now. His mother's doing... I, it's really interesting, Kaz, because... Um, Kaz, because he... I called his mum up and she was in... Oh, she said, you know, she wasn't all, like, upset like you would have expected. She... You can tell where he got his his upbeatness from and his happiness from. Hey, hey Shannon, God, see how you doing? Um, you that you can tell where he got his happiness from and in his and his um his his inspiration because his mum is equally as inspiring. She was on the phone laughing and joking around with me and telling me how much I meant to it to him. And uh, you know, we all made a difference in his life. And uh, you know, so I'm just sat there going like, uh, you know, you just lost your son and you're sat, instead instead of sitting there you're um sharing him and how so yeah so she's doing all right and you know if you guys can make it to the funeral we'll go love her yeah i you know what um i will say this you know, he's been through a lot and he had a lot of conditions. So what I take comfort out, I, you know, I'm obviously I'm going to miss him. I really am going to miss him. But um, what I'm going to take comfort in is knowing that he's in a better place now. And maybe he got his fingers back. Maybe. 
which I'm sure he'll be happy of. I know that he... Now I'm starting to get freaked out in my hotel room. I feel like I need to ask for another hotel room. Um, but I know that, that he had a lot of um, things that he was worried about. He's worried about not being able to do his job, but he was going to figure out how to do that. Uh, and he was worried about, uh, you know, I told him that, you know, if, when I come back to Utah, I'd rent a room out on him to help him out with money and stuff like that, which obviously would have benefited me as more than it would have him, but um, it would have benefited him as well. But, um, yeah. Hey, Trev, if you're here, flip me off. This strange. No, I don't normally do this shit. Come on live and start crying. That's awesome. Thank you, guys. Oh, it's difficult. That's for sure. Really difficult. Stacey, how's it going? Mm. If any of you guys want to send anything to his family, like flowers or anything like that, just let me know, okay? I'm just glad he's in a better place now. He doesn't have to deal with all the stuff that he's been through. You know, like if I had the list of stuff, hey Stacey, how you doing? If I had a list of all the medical conditions he had had, I think you'd be even more shocked because I mean, he he told me about a lot of the stuff that he, you know. Kind of makes you think, doesn't it? He went through all this stuff and he lost his fingers and he still managed to keep carrying on, didn't he? Hey, Bex, how's it going? You know, he still kept going on. He still kept carrying on and he still kept making jokes about all the stuff that he'd been through. I know, man. I don't even... We've got 79 people in the room right now. I don't even... 83 people in the room right now. I don't even... Mm. Oh, yeah. 
You know what the funny thing is? Do you know what the last text message was that I got from him? Hey, what's up, Jordan? The last text message I got to him was on Friday was he told me he loved me. That was the last thing that he said to me. Thank you. That's the last thing he said to me. I told him I loved him back. And then I asked him if I could stay with him this last weekend. Now, if that's not the last thing you should tell people before you pass away that you love them, I don't know what is. Yeah, I guess so. Um. Are you gonna give me a Lamborghini? Blessings by Dolph. Okay, thanks for that. Costa Mesa, new friendly lady. How's it going? Just. I don't know. That was the last thing he said to me before he passed away. On Friday, he said he loved me. I told him I loved him too. Uh, one of our friends just passed away. I just found out a couple of hours ago that a friend of ours passed away. Thank you for blocking that guy. I don't know what he was talking about a Lamborghini for. Um, so, so yeah, he passed. Uh, a friend of ours passed away, and it was really. I know, right, dude? I my brain's about to just explode right now. <laughs> It's nice to see, though, that people are being cool, other than the guy that was talking about Lamborghini. Just... Mm. You know, I almost prom I promised myself that I, when I do lives, I wouldn't ever get emotional, and I didn't come on here with any... Um, Hello, Susan Hobbs, how you doing? Uh, I, I didn't come on here with any um, intention. I see Shannon, that's awesome. Um, I didn't come on here with the intention to cry. Because right? I don't do this. You, all of you guys, know that I don't do this. <laughs> it's a fucking lampshade. That's what it was, so... Shannon, I'm sorry to hear about your loss. Um, <laughs> I don't even know what to say right now. I'm just really overwhelmed with the whole situation. It was the lampshade's fault. Well. And it's still slightly rocking, so he's just messing with me right now. Right. <laughs> I know, right? That's the important thing. I would have been really pissed off if we hadn't gone and seen him. Paige actually came with me as well. And so... <laughs> it was really funny because she wheeled in the wheelchair and they just sat there chatting away like best friends that had never even known each other. It's important to get closure, but I'll tell you what's even more important on Hayden is for us to... Um, Make sure that we love on the people that are here as well. 
and make sure that we show people how much we love them and how much we care about them. If I hadn't got a hotel room tonight, I probably would have driven back to uh, Utah. Gin and tonic, tonic gummy queen, how you doing? But yeah. We definitely need closure on those things for sure. you guys are in here tonight. It's freaking 99 people in here. Yeah. Oh, Shannon, I'm really glad that you joined. Where are you from, Shannon? Where are you from? <sighs> 97 people in the room. Wow, so 97 people have just seen me cry live. <laughs> wow. <laughs> you're from Tennessee. I'll be hanging back. I'm going back through to Tennessee. What part of Tennessee are you from? I love Tennessee. I love Memphis. And I love, um, yeah, I love Ten Memphis for sure. Um, so, yeah, we're at like 3.6K. Or did it just stop? I'm not a crier, that's the thing. I'm not a crier. Not even close to. Johnson City. Where's that? That must be one of those places that I didn't go through because I went through Memphis, I went through Nashville, I went through to Jacksonville and then I went down to Chattanooga. So you gotta be one, which is, where are you in Tennessee? We should hang out when I come. Sounds like you need a hug as well. We'll be to the early part of next year, but I'll, you know what, we can hang out if you want to, of course. I'm not forcing myself on you in any way, shape or form. But I'm all about the hugs, my darling. So, yeah, it's not that I, I'm ashamed of it. It's just that I don't um, do it very often. I lost a friend four years ago who, um, ended his life and um it took me about four years uh, it took me about three years to actually be able to grieve his loss so i've come a long way on the grieving process that's for sure you know so so where's johnson city then shannon and thank you for joining by the way how did you come across me Gwyneth Marie, how you doing? And you're you're following. Are you gonna? You can follow. Do you want to follow me back, Shannon? Maybe. Hey, Gwyneth, how you doing? Nice to meet you. Where are you from? Brook SC seventy two. What's up? Hmm. I was north, northeast. So you near Knoxville then, Shannon? Northeast, yeah, that's that. I, I know Tennessee quite well. Are you near the um, Carolinas border? Okay, so you're near Tennessee, Jackson, because my best one of my friend, really good friends, lives in Tennessee. Can somebody get rid of Jay Reese for me, please? It's so weather like in Jackson, in um, in Tennessee at the moment. Is it Jacksonville? You said Johnson City. See, I can make jokes about Johnson City. You want to make jokes about? <laughs> I feel crazy sitting here talking to this lampshade. Oh. Okay, listen, Jay Reese. I don't know who you are, but I really would appreciate it if you bug it off because I really don't. Um, there we go. I'm going to block you. 
I'm not sure what's going on with it. It's windy and wet. What is it like? It's like two. Is it two o'clock in the morning? So why are you up so late then, Shannon? Why couldn't you sleep? What's going on with you? Guys, everybody say hi to Shannon and make sure you're following Shannon. Good to see you, okay? So what's going on with you? Why are you up so late? How long ago? Sculpt and paint, how are you doing? Guys, make sure you all follow. Make sure you all follow Shannon. Okay. Hopefully, she'll join our community. Yeah. So. Oh. When I get to Tennessee, me and you're gonna hang out, and I'm gonna give you a massive hug. Okay. I'm so sorry to hear that. Shelley Langford, how you doing? Um, well, Shannon, you are welcome here anytime. Okay, I'll message you after afterwards. Okay, and uh, you're welcome here anytime. We goof off. <coughs> it's a good place for you to hang out with. It does. <coughs> does and i'm so sorry to hear about that so um yeah guys make sure you yeah, say hi to her and just um make sure you're following her you're welcome now hello lisa how you doing so yeah it really sucks when somebody passes. Hi Lisa, my beautiful friend, how you doing? It really sucks when somebody passes on, but like in the case with Trevor, I'm really um, more happy for him than anything. Same old, same old. How old was your dad when he passed? Trevor was 34. Do you want to talk about it, Shannon? Because, you, you know, if if you want to talk about it, we can talk about it. But if you don't, we can just change the subject. We can talk about something else. It's nice to see you, Lise. It's always good to see your face, darling. Always good to see your face. It's a fucking lampshade. Hi, BU Inspiration. How you doing? BU Inspiration, how you doing? You doing all right? I remember you from last time. I remember your username. Um, and, you know... He's 67... I'm not sure what that is. Okay. Did, did you? Um, I'm currently in Boise. I was planning to go to Seattle, Lisa, but I just found out that a friend of ours who lives in Salt Lake City passed away uh, about two hours ago. So I think, uh, oh, she accidentally texted me, okay. Um, I think I'm probably gonna just go to Oregon for a few days and then I'm gonna go, um, I'm going to go back to Utah on uh, Friday so that I can be there for the funeral on Saturday. So, uh, yeah, about that, you know. It's okay. It happens. 
he had a good life, he had a good run for the short time that he was here. You know, he was an active member of our TikTok community. Um, he was comedy relief and he always brought um, a smile to our faces, especially after he lost his fingers in a propane accident. He was making all kinds of crazy jokes about it. And uh, when I went and saw him in the hospital, I took him some fake fingers. He made a lot of jokes about that in the hospital as well. So, And apparently the nurses loved him. I, it was just... Mm. Lampshade's still going, by the way, guys. Yeah, it's rough. Mm. I didn't come on TikTok to get all emotional. I just, it just kind of happened. So, you know, I'm not one of those criers, and I certainly don't sit. I'm not sitting here. I'm just sitting here because, uh, yeah, it just, it is what it is. Mm. All right, Arlene, thanks. As soon as I find out the arrangements, I will let you know. I'll put up a video on TikTok. So, but go check out the video, the last, the video that of him flipping me the bird off because, uh, Good one. You kind of get to see both of our sense of humours in there as well, which I really think is really cool. No. Thanks for hanging out, Arlene. It's nice to see you. Thanks for the support as well. Just remember, I'm here for you guys as well. It's not about me, it's about all of us. I know that some of you guys are gonna be hurting from hearing this, but like, I'm really glad we got to share um, it together, especially the bloody lampshade there. Um, well, uh, of course you may ask. Of course you may ask, and you know, Lise, I will tell you. Hey, so he lost his fingers about uh, six weeks ago, I think it was. A propane cannon exploded. Um, it burnt these three fingers here. Um, and he had a big scar on his hand. Um, and uh, he ended up losing this finger first and then that finger second. Um, he came out of hospital last Wednesday and he passed away on Saturday and um, his mum told me that they don't know exactly what it was that um, caused him to pass away. He had a lot of other medical conditions as well. So um, they won't find out for another 12 weeks but they don't know exactly what made him pass away. Um, but it could have been a combination of a bunch of different things. Hey, Mel, Mel, how you doing? It's good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Well, yeah, but you know, if you go back, if you go watch the video, uh, the two videos I put up, you, the thing is, is he, he didn't sit around feeling sorry for himself. He was an absolute inspiration to all of us. So, yeah. Do you think it would be bad in bad taste? You're sitting on your lunch at a hospital. Why are you sitting on your lunch? Shouldn't you be eating your lunch, Mel? Shouldn't you be eating it right now? But he's, he's, yeah. 
I made a joke to Paige earlier on that if he's in heaven now, hopefully he got his finger back. And I tell you what, if he's got that finger back, you know he's going to be flipping people off. Absolutely know it. So about that. Madeline, how are you doing? I can't believe how many followers I've got in here right now. Or how many people I have in here right now. I'm just... Madeline, how are you doing? Kimby, Kimberly, what's it? Kimby, what's up? This is now where like, you're asking me how I'm doing and I have to tell you that a friend of ours passed away, so. I don't wanna be, I'm not that chief martyr. You know, I'm not that guy that's gonna sit there and be like, oh, you know, like. I'm just glad he's not in any pain anymore. And I'm glad that he has passed on to a better place, to be honest with you, more than anything. You haven't. So, I don't know if you knew our friend Trevor. He was somebody that was active in the community, you know chats and stuff like that um and i did a live with him and um i put a couple of a video off about him but he um he passed away on saturday so it's just been really difficult so, um he went into hospital he he um had two fingers amputated so he's got, he had these three left and um, he was in the hospital for about six weeks, I think it was. Uh, he came out of hospital on Wednesday, last Wednesday, um, and then he just died on Saturday. He was 34, his name is Trevor. He's a really good dude, really good inspiration to all of us. Um, and. Um, his funeral was on Saturday, so I'm going back to Salt Lake on Saturday instead of going to Seattle. I guess I'm not supposed to be going to Seattle soon, am I? He was young, you're right. He, absolutely, he was young. He was too young. It's, um... Where is she? She was here a minute ago. Blair, how you doing? Did she leave the girl that was here a minute ago that we were chatting to? It is what it is, so... Um, but he's been messing with my lampshade for the last um, hour or so. Shannon, are you still here? By any chance... Yeah, it is what it is, Carolyn. Evil Ginger, how you doing? Nice to see you. Good. It's just you stopped chatting and I thought we were talking. I just wanted to check in with you and make sure you're all right. I promise you, Shannon, I'm going to be coming your way. I promise you I will give you the best hug you have ever had in your life I know that that won't make it any easier but you know what we all need a good hug so. toxic fox fear of Plato. thank you for the likes guys I really appreciate that I'm not here for the likes but I always appreciate them Pittsburgh nurse how you doing cricket how you doing Miriam thank you for the likes
Can you be asleep anyway, Miss Shannon? Uh, hug is what everybody needs. And you know what? I give some of the best hugs, I promise you. Like, I got strong arms. And I'm an expert hugger. I'm European, man. That's what we do. <laughs> is this where me and you get into a shouldn't you be asleep? Shannon, shouldn't you be asleep? I mean, after all, it is almost 2.30 in the morning where you are. <laughs> we get into a shouldn't you be sleep argument here and everybody just sits there and they're just like eating popcorn watching me and Shannon arguing about who should be asleep. <laughs> I feel like this is, if there wasn't as many people in the room and Shannon was here, I would be, I would do, I, you know what, I would be suggesting right now that we write the story that we write, where everybody takes a line, but there's so many people in here, it could get very confusing. Thank you, Faith, thank you. Faith over fear, I appreciate that. Mandy, sorry, thank you. I appreciate you stopping by and saying hi. Hey, Shannon, when you go to sleep, I'll go to sleep, okay? But you have to go to sleep first, and then I'll go to sleep. <laughs> I can't believe I'm even having this conversation with you right now. Hello, Goofy Cat Shitty, how are you doing? Good times, what's up? No, Shannon, you go to sleep. No, you. And she's, here's the thing, I bet she's sat on the other end of the phone now doing exactly the same thing back to me. No, Englishman, you go to sleep. No, Shannon, you go to sleep. Hey, Miriam, Myron. <laughs> Sammy, what's up? How's it going? How about I just drive to Tennessee right now and I'll make you go to sleep? How about that? I don't even know how far Tennessee away is, to be honest with you. Exactly. You go to sleep, Shannon, and then I'll go to sleep. But you have to go to sleep first. And how will I know you've gone to sleep? I won't. Hopefully I'm putting a smile on your face. I'm taking your mind off stuff. And she's back. And Shannon's back. I think she went to sleep for 30 seconds and now she's back. Actually, she was probably trying to send me likes and then scrolled up and went, shit, where's the English guy gone? Mel, what's up? I can't believe how many people we have in the room tonight. To all of you newbies who don't know who I am, go and check out my videos, all right? You'll find out exactly what I'm all about, so. Okay, kids. So jobs are good in then, isn't it? That's what we're all about here, Shannon, supporting each other and looking after each other and trying to make each other laugh. You caught me on a different night because normally the ladies in the house like to just try and make me go red by trying to, uh, by saying nice things to me. So you kind of caught me on a different night tonight because it's not, <laughs> this is my usual lives, you know? And every, why is everybody else quiet? Is this just the Shannon and David show? Is that what we're doing right now? I tell you what, Shannon, here you go. I'm gonna give you a hug right now, you ready? 
was it as good for you as it was for me? Okay, well, so what, basically, hey, Smurf, Smurf, how you doing? Um, so basically, I'm traveling all 50 states at the moment, Shannon, and I'm TikToking it. And um, trying to bring about the idea that people aren't crappy sh human beings. I'm trying to put some different content on hit TikTok that is... Uh... I don't know, ladies. Mm -hmm. Ladies that have been following me for a while. What does Madeline need to do to make me go red? Uh, all of you experts there. So I'm traveling all 50 states at the moment. And I'm trying to TikTok it. I'm trying to show different people the, the world that it's not such a bad place. And I'm trying to um, bring the idea about that we're not so different. So that's a lot of what my TikToks are about. Um, you know, uh, there's some interesting ones as well, some stuff. But yeah, uh, that's really what I'm about. I'm delivering Uber Eats throughout the whole country which is what is um, funding this whole project that I'm doing. Mention yourself, Bruno. <laughs> oh, Smurf. So, do you remember Trevor Smurf? It? Right. That's good then. All right. So, um, Cougar Girl's in the house as well. So, for you guys who have just joined, a friend of ours, Trevor, passed away on Saturday. Um, he was an active member of the Mad Dave show. Um, and he passed away on Saturday. So, um, we're just here for each other right now. Um, so, um, yeah, just that. Just, uh, the funeral's this Saturday, by the way, it's Murphy. So if you are up in the Salt Lake area, let me know. And, uh, yeah, it, I know. It's, uh, I'm currently in Idaho. Boise, Idaho. Yeah, I'm in Idaho at the moment. I, my plan was to go to Seattle. But, um, but I think I'm going to save Seattle because I was going to spend two weeks in Seattle, but then I just found out that he passed. So, um, hello, Nobster Aiden. I haven't seen you in a while, Nobster. What are you up to? The eclipse. Is there an eclipse tonight? Or am I walking into a trap? Is it happening right now? A total lunar eclipse. Mary, where are you from, Madeline, by the way? a blood moon tonight okay I would go out there but it's bloody cold you're from India nice well thanks for stopping by who else do we have in the house where else are people from bunny monk bangs Cheatman, did I say that right? Mm. 
Hey Midwest Maria, how you doing? Pittsburgh nurse, thanks for stopping by. Crazy Peach USA, how you doing? Are you from Atlanta by any chance, Crazy Peach USA? Um, Paige, hi. Big Bizzle, how you doing? Melissa Poirot, what's up? Michael, Camille, hi, how you doing? Sonia, Tracy Waters, how you doing? Tracy Walters, sorry, how you doing? Franklin, how you doing? Miss Spender, how you doing? Dapper Dan Man, how you doing? Gra Nancy Grams, how you doing? Big Fish, what's up? Sea Glass, what's up? 43 degrees there, yeah, it's not much different here. It's in the low 30s. Hey, Kind of in shock right now. Gigi the greatest, how you doing? Angel girl, how you doing? D H D H D H D H three seven three seven three seven. Okay. Yeah. Hi D H D H. How you doing? I'm not Muslim, man. Thanks, Paige. Well, listen. Ah, uh, it's a bit crazy. I'm gonna log off. Okay. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. Appreciate you guys. Shannon. Send you Shannon. I'll send you my number as soon as I log off here, right? If you want to text, we can text for a little while, okay? Is that okay with you, Shannon? Hi, right, guys. Okay. All right, you guys. Get some sleep. We'll talk soon, right? Thanks for hanging out with me tonight.